conditional statements make up the brain of your program. This is where you tell the program how it should behave when certain conditions are met. You will be defining the condition that needs to be met and you will also be defining what the program should do when those conditions are met. Okay, let me illustrate with an example how conditional statements can be used. Let me create a new program condition.py. We give a comment. This program will illustrate how to use conditional statement. First, let us create a simple program that will divide two numbers. Okay. And since we know how to get the inputs from a user, let us do that. So let us create a variable a which will get the input from the user using the input function and let us ask the user to enter the numerator. Please enter the numerator. Now let us again ask the user to input a denominator. Now we want to divide a by b and show the result back to the user. So let us create a new variable c which is a divided by b and then we will print the result of the division is and we will give a comma and then provide c. Do you see any flaws in this program? As I told before, the input function will always return a string. So even though the user will key in the number, this is going to be treated as a string and b again will be treated as a string. And when you try to do a division like this, Python will throw an error saying that you cannot divide two strings. If you want, we can just quickly execute this program and confirm that. So let me give the numerator as 10 and the denominator as 2. See? Unsupported operand types for division, which is string on both sides. So let us go back to our program and do a type casting. How do we do that? We can convert it to an integer by using the int function. And for the argument of the int, we will provide the value keyed in by the user which is written by the input function. Similarly, we'll do the same thing for b, like this. These are concepts we covered in the last module. So if you do not recollect, I again suggest you to go through the previous models. Let us do a division of a by b. And though a and b are integers, when we do a division, it will convert it the result into a floating point and assign it to c and then we can print out the value of c. So let us execute this program. I should have given a space after the, the string numerator or I should have put some colon here that would make it a bit more clearer. 10 and denominator let me give it as 2. The result is 5.0. Let us go back to our program and quickly correct. I already have the notepad open here. Let me quickly correct the label. I'm giving some additional Space like this. And let me just execute it again. And this is cleaner. Add to result is 5.0. Okay. Now what if I execute this program with a numerator as 10 and denominator as 0? We get an error because we are trying to divide by 0. What if we don't want to throw this ugly error to the user? Rather, we want to provide our own message to the end user. So let us try that. Let us clear the screen. And let us go back here. So now, inside the program, we have a need to check the value of b. And if the value of b happens to be a 0, then we want to print a message saying that, hey, please re-execute the program with a non-zero denominator. And if it is not 0, then we can proceed to evaluating a by b and assigning it to c and then print the value of c 
to the console. So how do we define that condition and how do we tell the program what it needs to do when the condition of when the condition is met, which is b equal to zero. Python provides us with an if statement if and the syntax for the if statement is if space followed by the condition. In our case, it is b equal to zero. And note that we cannot write like b equal to zero like this because a single equal to sign means it is an assignment like you have given over here. When Python encounters a single equal to sign, it thinks it is an assignment operator and it tries to assign the value that is on the right hand side over to the variable on the left. In our case, we are not trying to do an assignment, we are trying to evaluate the value of b, in which case we are trying to see if the value of b is equal to 0. So we need to use double equal to sign. This is a relational operator, whereas a single equal to sign is an assignment operator. And after the condition, we need to follow it with a colon. Okay? What to do if this condition is met? That we will define on the next few lines which are indented. Let me do an indentation and say I want to print please rerun program a non-zero denominator. This is the message we want to print to the user. And if we want something more to do, again we can write that in the next line. And again if that statement also needs to be executed only if the condition was met, which is b equaling to zero, then you need to indent that line as well. In our case, let us just print one additional line. Print, thank you. Okay. So these two lines will be executed only if this condition is met, because these two lines are indented after the if block, the if statement. And in the subsequent line, if you remove the indentation, Python takes that it is outside the if block. Okay, the if block is only these three lines now. And anything after this, which is not indented, will still be executed because they are outside this condition. But do we want to execute this statement which is A by B? irrespective of this condition. No, only if this value of b is not equal to zero, we want to execute that, right? So Python also provides an else statement, which is else followed by a colon. Then anything under the else will have to be again indented like this. And note that else only can go with an if statement. You have a if condition which checks if b is equal to zero and th these two lines will be executed if those conditions are met and if that condition is not met it will come to the else part and these two lines will be executed in the else part. So now let us execute this program. Numerator is 10 and let us give the denominator as zero. So you please rerun the program with a non-zero denominator. Thank you. So we didn't try to evaluate c is equal to a by b or printing the value of c. That did not happen. Only the f block got executed because the value of b is 0. Now let us re-execute this program with a non-zero denominator, say 2. Now we got the result of the division is 5.0, which means the if block where we said, you know, please rerun the program with a non-zero denominator, that did not get printed because that condition was not met because the denominator is non-zero, that condition did not happen. It came to the else part where we had this print statement where it evaluated C, which is A by B, and then it printed out that on the console. So what other if conditions does Python support? So similar to the double equal to symbol, you can also check for greater than 
or less than or greater than and equal to or less than and equal to. 